everybody. It is now Wednesday afternoon. I spent most of the morning doing homework and now we are in downtown Anchorage. We're gonna go to the Anchorage Museum. That's the museum over there. Adam and I actually went in February, but I have not been back since. So we're gonna take Mackenzie today. It's really, really foggy and it, the sun was supposed to come out and I was supposed to clear up, but it hasn't. So we're doing some indoor activities. I wanted to talk a little bit about highs and lows for a minute. I've had some serious highs and some serious lows in the last couple of days. I reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So if you have subscribed, thank you. Welcome, I'm glad you're here, I'm really excited. What that means for this channel is that I am now monetized. What that means is that there will be ads and I will have the opportunity to make some money from the ads that you watch. I've had the opportunity to get rid of a couple of them, which is really cool. So you should be able to skip all of them that you see on my channel, because that was one of the things that I really wanted to make a possibility is for you to skip some if you didn't want to watch them. It's perfectly fine, I don't care. A low started my day today, which is why my eyes are kind of puffy. I got some bad news from home. Everything's gonna be okay. It's just a little bit of a tough time. Even the weather here has been like high and low. It's been sunny and then foggy. Yesterday it was really sunny and then foggy immediately like at noon and so now it's really foggy. So it's just been highs and lows but everything's gonna be okay. We're still gonna have fun today. We're about to go into the museum but I wanted to start out telling you guys why I might just be a little bit down today and that's normal that happens highs and lows are perfectly normal so let's go into the museum masks are required for entry and i've got mine in my pocket we are in my favorite room in the entire museum there's so much beautiful like nature art in here and it's all dark and very beautiful this one is huge but i love not exactly the style but i love the depiction of the northern lights it's so pretty if I was forced to pick a favorite piece in here, I think it would be probably something like that one. I love the nature scenes of the mountains. I just think it's so pretty. And it's not scary. That one looks a little bit scary. And somehow that one looks a little bit ominous too. But I definitely have a soft spot for this one. It's huge and very, very beautiful. I'm much more a fan of the traditional style of painting, but this is pretty too. It's very pretty and very, very large. Previously we were in the Art of the North Gallery, now we're entering the Alaska Exhibition Gallery. So this all has to do with Alaskan history. And I think it's really interesting because they encourage you to move in a clockwise direction to encourage social distancing. This exhibit is very similar to the last time I was here. It's different modes of transportation that have been used, such as boats and sleds, snowshoes. And I love a really good spoon, and I think this display is so fascinating because it's just different kinds of spoons from different tribes. So everybody has a different kind of spoon. And an ulu is a traditional kind of native knife. So you hold the handle and you can almost kind of roll it across your food to chop your food. And these are a really popular gift in tourist, uh, like gift shops. I don't have one. They kind of remind me a little bit of pizza cutter. And of course you can't forget the fur coats because they used every part of the animal that they could and this is actually where the term parka comes from russia really did a lot to try to settle alaska and so the russian orthodox church did a lot of work to provide bibles in native languages that were translated so that people could hear could read them and their influence is still here today. There's an entire exhibit here talking about why um, the United States wanted Alaska. 
Alaska was desirable for its location with regards to our enemies, but it, the state was also desirable for its resources like fishing and copper and gold and then eventually oil. And this display kind of encourages that thought. In the future, whoever holds Alaska will hold the world. Adam and Sherry have told me about the boar tide every time we drive down Dragon Arm, and it's never really made sense to me until now. We are in an exhibit talking about the boar tide. Basically, when the tide is out and begins to come in, it is the longest tide. The wave can last for miles. It's really, really cool. And so many of these pictures, like this one, actually show you what that means. This room is probably the darkest, and the reason for that is because these displays are actually on loan from the Smithsonian, and it's really cool because they have been sorted by the native tribe. So this is the Tlingit tribe, and I think it's really, really interesting to get to see some of these really special artifacts. This is by far the most intricate looking apron I've ever seen. Looks like even native Alaskan tribes made baby boots for their children. These are precious. On the outside of the elevator, there's a sign that says four individuals or two households. So we've all got a dot. Tonight we are at double shovel to start with some ciders we hi we have not been here since i've been here but we're going to take mackenzie because she likes ciders look at that excitement for a cider <laughs> this is the worst dancing i've ever done i'm so sorry the inside of double shovel is really really cool because they've decorated for halloween with floating witch hats and floating witch brooms but also we got some cider flights all four of us actually got cider flights sherry and i almost matched i got the Pepper Peak and Sherry got the pineapple, but otherwise our flights are the same. I got a grapefruit lavender, a cider mosa, and a cherry sour. And they've got some completely different stuff, but so far they're very, very good. We're back at Wild Scoops. This is for me. I'm sad today. I have a good reason and I need some ice cream. All right, you're on. Perform for us. Dance, Dance monkey. <laughs> Jerks. Absolute <laughs> jerks. We stopped and picked up hula hands <laughs> for dinner. And I feel like it's necessary to tell you it's hula hands. I'm gonna put it on the screen. And I got the Kahlua pork and the teriyaki beef, which comes with the rice and macaroni salad. Sherry got what did you get? Chicken? Kalehu chicken. Kalehu chicken. Mm-hmm. But and I got a, I got the big one so that I could have the leftovers for lunch tomorrow. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And what kind of chicken did you get? Chicken katsu, which is like basically fried chicken, and it comes with a sauce and fried and um, Kahlua pork. pork. And then this is a you uh, probably got the tuna. Same. Adam got the okay. same. Mm -hmm. Adam got the same as Sherry. I got the exact same as Sherry. All right. Well, dinner was delicious. I am going to dig into some Sitka Swirl Wild Scoops ice cream, and you guys will see me tomorrow.